Hi guys, how you doing? Um, tonight I am going to be doing a advanced stamping or reverse stamping, whatever you'd like to call it, with Born Pretty Plate number 73. Um, it's just a universal floral plate and I'm sure anybody that's used this plate has done this pretty much exact manicure. But for the polishes I'm going to use for this, I have Jessica Cosmetics. This one is Sky High. It's like a, a grayish blue. That's my base. It's a very, very pretty color. Um, I'm going to... Here we go. There we go. This one is Lime Cooler. And I'm going to use this for the petals. This is Foxy Roxy, and I will be using this and another polish for the flowers. The other one is Monsoon Melon. All right, and I'm actually just gonna swirl those. I've never done that before, but we're just gonna see how it goes. So, for the stampers, I actually have four stampers, so I could try to get this done a little quicker. So the first stamper I have is my clear jelly stamper. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need a new head soon. It's looking kind of used, you know? So I've got that one. I've got this bundle monster, you can kind of see. But I put Zoya's Arlo on it for texture so there was a grip. Um, so I have that bundle monster stamper. This one is squishy, but it's not marshmallow. I actually, you know, I don't like the marshmallow as much as I was hoping I would. Damn it. Get out of there, book. Okay, this one I got from CC and Sissy. Just a fancy silver stamper, I think is what they call it. This is actually my favorite. And this one as well. This is a holder of a crazy stamper my husband got me that turned out to suck. Um... But this is the other stamping pad from the CC and Sissy set. So I just put this in here because it fit nice. And now I've got two stampers that I really, really like. Okay, I'm going to have to get the hair off of that. Mother. All right, so anyways, that's my stampers, all four of them. And let's get stamping. Okay, we're going to use this image right here. And there's a flower, a single flower over here that matches that. Uh, you'll notice, maybe you'll notice, maybe you won't. I kind of dinged my polish right here. But instead of redoing it, since I had already top coated it, I'm just going to put my stamp over it as best as I can. Okay, so. I don't know if you can hear. I have it very, very light in the background, but I do have some background music of my choice. Okay, so do this. My scraper. Okay, let's start with the jelly. Okay. Actually, you could probably... Oh, you suck. Alright, we're doing that again, I think. I guess. That sucks because that came out so good. Alright. Anyways. Mistakes are made. This plate is actually etched so... I don't know what the word would be. I want to say harsh. That's all I can think of. Um, but it's you can feel it. And it's almost sharpish. So every time I use cotton, I gotta be careful or else it will stick to the edges and pull it. And then I'll have cotton pieces in my image. Alright, so let's try this again. Okay. Scraper. There we go. Alright, again, that came out really well. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it. All right, so I'm just going to put that aside and grab my next stamper. <laughs> you should be dancing. Yeah. We like to spickle well, me in this house. That's where that comes from. 
Okay, so next stamper. Bundle Monster one. I will leave all the links to every stamper down below. So you can just get the extra off there with my um, lint roller after. Alright, so put that one aside. Next. You know, I've seen people that don't clean it, their image between every stamp. You know, they just leave the polish on there. Like, is that okay to do? I don't, I don't know. I thought it would kind of mess up the image. Especially if you didn't pick it up perfectly and clear to begin with. You know, I just figured it would, I don't know, I don't know, maybe that's dumb. But anyways, I, have, I clean it every time just in case, I guess. Okay. Oh, I love this stamper. Okay, let's see. Can you see how perfect that is? Oh, I love it. This is getting bad. This is why I need one of those cotton ball claws. Like, I really, really need it because I can already see a little bit of wear. That's not good. Alright, last one. And again, perfect. These have a firm head. Um, I should have shown you that before. But they're very firm. And I actually prefer that. This is what works best for me. So. Alright, let me clean this off. Oh, my God. Hear that? How rough that is? I don't know. Let me get that out of the way. Let's go. Get that out of the way. Close up my polish. And clean up my mess. Okay. Now, this is the next part. I think what I'm going to do is get all the green done first. So, we're just going to sit here and fill in the leaves. I will put this in fast forward because self-explanatory. It's like, you know, adult coloring. Okay, now we are going to go in and we are going to top coat every one of these and let them dry. Okay, as usual, the top coat I used is my HK Girl. 
Okay, um, I'm going to let those dry and we will come back and put those on. Okay, we are back and our stamps are dried. Okay, now a lot of people use clear top coat to stick their, their um, decals. I use foil adhesive, foil glue, um, because I find that the stamp will stick to my nail a lot better, actually, and it won't slide and it doesn't bleed um, from the polish re-wetting the dried polish. So this is the way to go. This one was gifted to me, so I'm actually not even sure where to get this, but I'm pretty sure that you can just Google um, nail art foil glue or something like along those lines and it will bring you to where you need to find it. Okay, so now I want to try two separate ways here because I'm curious. So, first I'm going to try just putting this like this and see if the uh, stamper will flatten it out and the other one I will do differently. So, let's try this here. Okay, now see that, oh, can you see that? Okay, now that worked re oh, fudge. Try not to touch your fingers, I've already gotten fuzz on mine because I'm dumb, but that's that, and then it will be much easier to go around um, with the acetone to get that off. Okay, so that's how we're going to do that then, because I like that. All right. For this one, we're just going to put that flower right in the middle. And I like being able to use a stamper like this because it kind of rolls it flat. Oh, I sunk in my stamper. But yeah, I mean, you know, it rolls it nice and flat so you don't have to worry about any holes or air bubbles or anything like that. Alright. Hey, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right, next. We're going to do this here. Ooh, that one didn't stick very well. All right, there we go. That's all right. So there's this one, and I will trim these before I take acetone to them. Okay, and last one. I think we're going to put that down at the bottom again. And there we go. Come on. What is going on? No. Okay. think this polish was completely dried the uh, the flower part the swirl part and I think that's what it was okay but crisis averted there we go now I'm gonna take my little scissors and just start chopping away that extra All right, so we've got most of this trimmed up pretty well. Now, I'm gonna put my little carry cup because they are awesome as reusable little cups. Um, so in that, I'm gonna put some acetone. And I'm gonna grab my cleanup brush. Now, this, this go with the acetone is more to seal the edges than anything. Okay, so I'm not going to really be cleaning up yet.
Okay, for the most part, this is all set. I mean, at least for top coat, and then we're going to clean. So, let's get these top coated with my HK Girl. And the reason I'm using this one instead of the matching Jessica Cosmetics top coat is because the stamping and everything that I'm doing, this will ensure that it's not going to bleed or get messed up, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to let these dry and clean them up and I will come back with the finished product. See you in a minute. Okay, here they are. Um, I'm not completely happy with them, but that's my fault. They're just messy, and I'm not sure that I like that. Like, you can see the extra black in the stamping, um, missed spots in the flowers. You know, I just, I rushed it, and next time I won't do that. But yeah, I love the idea. I think they're cute. I love them. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know down below what you would like to see because I feel like all I do is stamp um, and vinyls. So yeah, let me know. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.